working the way, especially uh, Lake Landing over towards Swan Quarter, Englehart and Hyde County, watching some of those heavier bands lifting northbound for us here. And notice that wind direction out of that south southeast, bringing that moisture and more importantly, humidity in off of the ocean. And that's part of the reason why we are encased in the cloud cover here right now. We did have temperatures up into the mid 70s uh, right before the rain started. Now we're falling back into the upper 60s and low 70s for us here. Watch on future track. You'll notice a better chance of those showers along the coastal areas here as this is all with an area of low pressure that's going to be moving offshore as we head through the day today and by late afternoon may actually see a little thinning of the cloud cover out there that may help boost those temperatures back into the mid 70s yet again before sunset and then overnight tonight the upper system with this works its way on through. Most of it's going to be across the Virginia North Carolina border, but we may see a scattered shower or thunder shower for us here. Better chance of the stronger storms out west where they're getting a little bit of that sunshine right now and just a northwestern Martin and Bertie kind of clipped in with that level two or that slight risk of the severe storms. Main threat from these systems are going to be the potential for a brief heavy downpour and maybe a damaging wind gust. You'll notice that 15% just again, just kind of clipping Pitt, Martin and Bertie County for us here this afternoon. And that's where also the slim chance of an isolated tornado is again further off to the north and the west. So temperatures again, we might recover with a little bit of that sunshine this afternoon back into the mid 70s with the heaviest showers and storms now pressing offshore. We'll get that next line coming through around midnight or shortly thereafter. After that, we do start to clear out. And as a result, we may see some fog early tomorrow morning. So this is one of two storms we're going to be tracking this week and the first part of the first storm, if that makes sense. Again, that low pressure developing here off of South Carolina and Georgia. That's going to be a pretty good nor'easter. There's the front with it comes in around midnight. And then you just heard us talking about the storms in the Pacific Northwest. Another storm system already coming ashore. This will eventually get to us as we head through Thursday and Friday. So storm number one the parts off of the coast combines to the northern mid Atlantic states. High pressure slides in with lots of sunshine in here for tomorrow and Wednesday. But by later Wednesday and Thursday, you're already starting to see the high clouds starting to move in ahead of that second storm. That'll be in here with those clouds thickening up on Thursday in the afternoon evening hours with showers and storms. Uh, Friday, I think it was partly sunny, maybe a spotty sprinkle, and then the upper system kicks out of here on Saturday. Clears us out just in time for trick or treat on Sunday. The actor who played Gunther on the famous